Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about building a video editing machine and what you really need to keep in mind and what to do when it comes to building a video editing oriented machine. Now here's the thing. Depending on the quality of your video, are you are you I mean are you editing I mean 1080p video as a 720p video? Is it standard definition or is it even is it even a 2K or 4K video if you've got one of those cameras, which uh, well you probably don't have. Now there are some very important things to consider when it comes to hardware. Now, whether you're going Mac or PC, that's up to you. That's totally up to you, what you want to do. Now, this is really a uh, PC-oriented um, uh, tutorial, if you want to call it that. However you want to say, this is rather PC-oriented. Now, when it comes to building the machine or buying the machine itself, um, a very good, um, what you're going to want is you're going to want the real main components. You're going to want a strong CPU. CPU is a central processing unit. It's really what's going to be doing the thinking in the brain. It's, it's the brain of the computer. It's what's really doing all the heavy duty. And um, basically, the faster it is and the more cores it has, the more cores, the better. Because if your software utilizes all those cores, it has more brains to work with to render the videos quicker and whatnot. Now, um, doesn't mean, you know, there could be some quad cores that are faster than some six core processors. Now that's, you know, up to benchmarks and how that plays out. And if you got questions or you want help building the systems or whatever, email me and I'll help you. But you, the more, the faster the CPU is, the way better it makes. I mean, so if you're editing like an AVC HD codec, you're going to want a faster CPU because they really, really take a lot of power to render. Now, also, really another big consideration you must keep in mind is RAM. RAM is a very, very important thing. I'm not going to exactly go and explain what exactly RAM does, but it's so important to have a lot of it. Let me do a little bit of a comparison. What I did is before I had my, uh, a big upgrade, when I upgraded my motherboard and RAM, before I was at a cheaper motherboard and 6 gigs of RAM. Um, slow RAM, you know, it wasn't that great. And when I did, and, um, it, I rendered a video, and it took 26 minutes and 48 seconds to render. Sorry about that. So I used all the same components, except for the motherboard and memory. Now, the motherboard really is not going to make a difference in how a faster video is rendered. It's really not going to make a difference at all. It did make a difference is the memory. I got faster memory and, um, and 16 gigs of it. Six, I went from 6 gigs to 16, team, 16. The rendering time was cut in half. I ended up saving 12 minutes and 34 seconds in my benchmark. I saved 12 minutes and 34 seconds. That is staggering. In a 26 minute video it took to render, and um, I did that upgrade, that more RAM, and it only took 12 minutes. That is staggering. That is insane. So the more RAM, the way, way better it will be for you. More, You really, really should get more RAM. That's going to help you hands down more than anything else. Um, well, actually, take that back. Um, actually, CPUs can help you a lot, but RAM is a huge thing you must have. Now, when it comes to storage, you're going to want a lot of storage. Now, however you want to do it, if, um, if you've got really important data, you might want to use a RAID array, which basically takes, it'll take two drives or more drives. And uh, depending on what type of RAID, you can do different types. There's like the RAID 0, which basically means both drives are combined as one. So you have, in theory, twice as much speed. It, go, it comes around, you'll probably get about twice as much speed. Or you got RAID 1 which would be two drives mirrored. They, they are identical information. So if one drive fails, you still got the other with all that data. And um, with the RAID 0, if one drive fails, you lose all the data. That's the big thing. But you get faster speeds. And if you're using um, high bitrate video and high resolution, you might want to do a RAID array to have the fa fastest rendering time. Now, what's next? Um, now we also got a RAID 10, which basically takes RAID 0 and RAID 1 and puts it together. You've got the speed of, it takes, requires four drives at least, and it takes the speed of RAID 0 and the redundancy of RAID 1, they put it together. So you've got the best of both worlds, but the set down is it requires four drives, and um, that, that was a pretty big set down, because that can cost a lot of money. Now, also some software like Sony Vegas 11, um, Adobe After Effects, um, basically all the CS5 suite, the whole C Premiere Pro, especially Premiere Pro, they will all use your GPU or the thing that basically makes all the images up on your monitor. They will use that because they have. You, if you've got a certain GPUs, they've got a lot of power. Some of them have a lot, a lot of power on them behind them, especially the gaming ones. 
and they can run very, very specific operations very, very well. Yeah. Now, what it'll do is, it'll, yeah, it's using your GPU to help and your CPU to render the video, and it'll make a staggering difference. Like, I went from a, it took 15 minutes to render the video before, and then it took only like five minutes after, once I enabled the GPU to help with the process. So it can make a big difference. Now you need help with um, figuring out which GPUs your software will support, I mean, which GPUs you can use or whatever, feel free to email me about that. Now, when it comes to overclocking, um, you, overclocking the CPU, you're not gonna find that big of performance. Basically, I took my CPU at a stock speed, is 3.2 gigahertz. I brought, up, brought it up to 3.9 gigahertz and it shut it off on a, on a video that normally takes um, uh, tw 26 mi that 26 minute video, it took off two minutes. So it, yes, it does make a difference in the long run if you're doing huge trials, it's gonna take huge amounts of time. Yes, you can save, I mean, 15 minutes. But what I'm saying is it puts a lot more stress on your CPU, it requires more power, and uh, it, your CPU will run hotter. Now whether you decide to do that or not is a different thing. Um, it can get complicated, it can get very complicated. So yeah, um, you gotta keep that in mind. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up um, my video on how to um, design a video re editing machine. If you got any questions, feel please feel free to um, inbox me on YouTube. That is the best way to do it. You can inbox me or email me at p.o.d.jordan at gmail.com. That email will be in the description box below in case you didn't get it. Um, you can email me or you, please don't leave it in the comment section because it will be harder for me to get to and it's just more convenient if you just message me. So um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.